we're going to compare some other units of measurement. Right here we have a cube. Each one of these cubes is one cubic inch. Let's see how many cubic inches it takes to fill this box. So if I line them up edge to edge, I see it takes four to fill up part of the bottom. So if I double that, that's going to be eight. So I've got eight in the bottom. Okay, you can see those fill up very nicely. And then I can just keep adding. Well, I can already see that it's two cubic inches high. So it was eight on the bottom. So if I double that, that would be how many total? Go ahead and mark it in there. Mark out how many cubic inches did it take to fill this box? Okay, now we're going to focus on these blue rods. All right, so just one of these is a cubic centimeter. Remember the other ones were cubic inches. This one little piece here is a cubic centimeter. How many cubic centimeters are there in a rod? Go ahead and count. Yes, there are 10 cubic centimeters in each rod. Well, I wonder how many it would take to fill this box because I want to be able to compare to the cubic inch. So first I'm just gonna fill up the bottom to see how many does it take to fill the bottom of this box. Okay, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, but each one is 10 cubic centimeters. So 10 times five is, go ahead and think about that, that's 50. And then how many is it going to take to fill up the whole box. Well, I kind of just want to fill up one edge of the box to see how many it took. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. You can see clearly that goes to the top. So I've got 50 that were on the bottom and it's gonna take five sets of those 50 to fill the box. So go ahead and do the calculations and figure that out. How many cubic centimeters does it take to fill this same box?